check it out. Back out in the country at long last. And I have found a beauty. Lots of long grass. So I've come prepared with the uh, snake gaiters on. Big boots. And I can see that the front door is open. So let's go and check this old place out. Beautiful old home. It goes back a fair way too. You can see where the old power was connected right there. Beautiful old um, tiles on the veranda as well. Anybody home? Tin. Old sofa. Oh man. There's all old antiques in here. That's an old singer sewing machine. One mantle. This is going to be a cool old house. Look at that. There's the old singer in there. All right, I've got the singer up out of the cabinet. Here she is. Still got an old roll of thread that's kind of unraveled and rotted away. Check it out. Got lucky with the weather today, guys. It's, it's not hot at all, so it's quite pleasant in here. Very, very uh, 
quiet as well. Look at that cabinet. That's an old club sofa chair. Has to be from the 30s, that one. 30s or 40s. Built like a tank. Not sure what that is, but that's another mantle. Beautiful old mantle. Check out the old cast iron stove. F Pullinger, Maker Melbourne. There you go. I've not seen one of those before. Made in Melbourne. I'm thinking that might be an old gramophone. Is so good. It's still got a record on it too. Parlophone. I'm in love with someone. I'm in love with this house. Even this old uh, bench, that's a marble, that's marble. Look at the tiles. We're only in the first room. I'm not sure what that is. It's like a little storage room. I think the door actually opens the other way around, this way, somehow. There's a, there's a chair in there. I'll just close that again, for now. Look at that mantle. That's an old school, maybe a dishwasher. Well, we'll keep moving. Bedroom. Oh, so those side windows have been redone and they look like a, maybe a 70s or 80s we'll have a look some more old pieces of furniture there this would have been a prominent farmhouse originally now that's an old An old TV, a very heavy one. I'm trying to spin it around, but I don't want to be too rough with it. Wow. It is Radiola Deep Image AWA.
all these pieces of furniture are from the 30s, if not earlier, 20s. Birds of a feather. A bed there. More pressed tin. Another old Art Deco dresser. Bit of a wicker. Seat. Now you see these aluminium windows. They're probably a 70s or 80s edition. So probably there was um, someone in here in the 80s. But everything else, wallpaper, furniture, everything from the period way back when. Huge windows. All right, let's keep going. Look at that. Floor was quite rotten there. That's your tongue and groove ceiling. Even the bed. <clears throat> Croaky voice, I need a drink. That's a solid, that is a solid piece of furniture. That bed, that bed, it's got the old, uh, wire, mattress, ah, uh, sorry, springs. A bit of 70s curtains going on there, late 60s. I'm gonna scare any possums. This looks like a little bedroom as well. Just gonna give the uh, lens a bit of a rub because of the cobwebs. Single bed. Uh, that window's just down, it's not smashed. Maybe the kids' room, there's two singles in here. <clears throat> Look at that little fireplace. Maybe one of those mantles were off that one.
Jeez, I can I can see the bathroom way, way, way down through there, through that door. Another little bedroom. Oh no, this is a bathroom. This was a bathroom, or it was a originally a bedroom, and they installed a toilet there. But check that out. The toilet is hooked up to the uh, tap there. Maybe it was originally a, a laundry or something. But they have added the old lavender loo. This is going to be a long video guys, but it's going to be worth it. And I'm probably going to run out of daylight to take a lot of still shots, so I might have to come back here tomorrow, I think. There's the other part of the club sofa. There's the actual two-seater part. Oh, the uh, ceiling coverings coming down there. Another old TV, that's a Philips. At least that one's got um, the dials on it. One of those pressed tin fire covers. All right, this looks like the kitchen through here. This is as original as it gets. Clawfoot tub. Okay, that would have probably been in where the uh, toilet was. Look at this cabinet. Stained glass. See, there was there was stained glass on um, all these doors that led through here. None of that one smashed. There's another one there. I can hear noises coming from in there. I'm hoping it's the breeze. Some old Tupperware, jars and cups and bowls, gas lanterns. I 
those six over six windows <clears throat> this place would have there's a fair chance this was built in the late 1800s definitely okay well, we'll um look at that old doorknob Okay, I'm thinking maybe there's a possum in there. There's definitely something walking around. I'll come back to that room. There was definitely something walking around in there like an animal. first I was kind of thinking when I looked at the front this home would be a high chance to have a piano for some reason and it does and it plays it's out of tune though That's an old tin of Johnson's baby powder as well. There's the uh, second chair to the club sofa. Oh, that is vintage Art Deco. That is old. There's an old retro fan. Actually, my mother's still got one similar to that, a blue one. Oh, it's splashed out in the 70s here. Along when they put the windows in, I think they've uh, gone with that um, laminate stuff kind of sucks now check out this cabinet is huge it's almost like a door it's not it actually opens up you could probably walk through it like a door and there's that fan way out of tune okay what do we got here get well soon to Elsie with love best wishes and a speedy recovery from the from the members of the Uniting Church 
it's got the town name there, that's why I didn't read it out. But it's a card from the church. For whoever was in here that was unwell. So finding cards and things like that always adds to the story like that dead spider. Alright, here's bathroom. Get the cobwebs out of the way first. Corrugated tin bathroom. Look at that hand, that's art deco. This is a time capsule. That's actually a new window too. Probably added when the other ones were added. Pink tub. back porch oh no it is it's the actual kitchen wow this place is huge guys see that's got pressed tin too painted Modern Britain. Denise Richards? Oh, Dennis Richards. <laughs> this is just retro, retro, retro. Where do I start with this fridge? The Kelvinator Magic Cycle. Stopped at nine past two. What year? Nobody knows. coming in there as I said at the start it is good to be back out in the country what a what a what what a place to start with what a what 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 a, what 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 is this Okay, that's like a 70s, 70s or 80s cassette. I'm trying to 
you want to see the brand name, it's a pie. Beam whiskey, Jim Beam, and I did notice a whole heap of VB cans down on the ground there. The old kettles, really old kettles, and this oven. What is it? Still got all the trays and things left in it. And Essie Stat. Essie Stat. Okay. Essie Century. Essie Century Cooker. Working instructions. Essie Century. Webs is an old tin. Nothing in the old tin. So many cobwebs. Well, well they did look, looks like they did have a water service in there. Yeah. What's this door? Goes outside into that long grass. Okay, so it's like a uh, another section there, guys. We'll see what the deal is with this, this other room. So I'm not sure what this room is. It's it's kind of like maybe this maybe maybe they added extensions from the original part who knows such a big house though <laughs> hello who am I disturbing this way you can't just go bursting into some rooms because if there is possums, I can still hear it. Oh. Yep, it's up there. Oh, it's rats. I just saw something moving behind that bed frame. Let me just, um... <sighs> Can't get too far in this room anyway, guys. So I'm going to have to do some panning, uh, zooming and panning around. I don't know what that is. That looks like it's the shell of an old radiogram. They've had the um, speakers and internals taken out. It's called a tombstone radiogram. They stand up like a tombstone. I've got a um, second-hand one in my living room. Just 
a whole heap of furniture there. Cardboard boxes. This is this must have been all their storage for when they packed up. Yeah, it's definitely rats, I think. <clears throat> They're over there now. Hear that? Sounds like a chook. Did you hear that? It was like... Bruk, 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 bruk. Bed frame. Little mattress. Yeah, there's... I can't get past there guys without bring over everything and I'm not going to but there's a lot of water damage on that ceiling and where the fireplace is the chimney all right so See where this door leads. <clears throat> cobwebs, cobwebs, cobwebs. There's another fan. A rev -layer. I've seen those rev before. Yeah, there's something crawling up on that roof, definitely. That's definitely a possum. We'll just see where he ends up. You can hear that, guys. That's just a little... And that room's collapsed too, guys. So that combined with the possum, <coughs> I'm not even going in there. It's falling down anyway. All right, we'll go back out to the veranda. See if there's anything we missed up there. Look at this place though. That door was closed and I will close it when I take some still shots. Look, we've pretty much covered the whole inside of the house. Now if I can get some interesting things outside, I will put it into another video. So I'm going to end it here guys for the inside part and the actual house. Because it's a fairly long video and I don't know if I can actually get around the side of the house. Plus I'm running out of daylight and I need to get some still shots of the inside. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Jump in the comments for this one. And hopefully, the next one's just as good as this. And I'll see you there. Cheers guys, bye.